Tuesday. Today we're going to be making our own sketchbooks out of cereal boxes. So stay tuned and see how to create this. We're going to start by cutting off all of the edges of our cereal box. So cut your box in half and then cut off all of these extra edges. If the piece of cereal box gets in your way, just cut it off halfway through and then continue cutting on that crisp line. Once you've cut off all of the tabs of your cereal box, you are ready to move on. Simply fold your cereal box piece in half with the brown facing out. You'll need to use something like a glue stick or a marker to crease that folded edge so that it's nice and sharp. For your inside pages, you will need six white pieces of paper or color of your choice. I'm using computer paper here because it's thin. You're going to fold each sheet in half individually. If you fold them all at the same time, their creases will not be sharp enough for the inside of your book. If you have problems creasing your papers, watch how I use my fingers. So fold in half, take one finger to the middle, and then top and bottom. So one finger in the middle, up, and then down. Once you have folded all of your papers, we're going to put one paper inside of the sketchbook at a time and mark where it's too long. So for each of these, if you have a big cereal box, then you may not have this problem, but my cereal box is relatively small. So I'm going to mark each page where it hangs out of the sketchbook so that I know where to cut that part off. Now using my scissors, I can go back and cut on the lines that I traced so that I can cut my papers to fit perfectly snug inside of my cardboard cover. to create what's called a signature which will be all of our pages together in our book. I'm going to open each page and lay them on top of each other. Once I have them all laid on top of each other then I can close them back like a book and then tap them to make sure the pages are even. I'm going to use my glue stick again just to crease it and now they should fit nice and snug. We want our pages to stay in our book. So the first way I'm going to show you is using yarn. You can use yarn or string for this method. You'll open it up to your middle paper and then you'll just simply tie around. You can tie a knot or a bow like I do. Just make sure that you get it nice and tight. You could also tie it with some string like this or whatever you have on hand. The next method is with a rubber band. So I happen to have one green rubber band so I'll open it all the way up to the middle paper and then simply stretch it around and this will hold my pages just like the string. If you don't have a rubber band there's one more option. So I'm going to slip this off to show you the next one and it is using a hair bow. So I have a blue stretched out hair bow that I don't use anymore. So I can stretch it around just like the rubber band. With my other hair bow, I can put it around to hold it shut. And just like that, your sketchbook is finished and ready to be used. Now to decorate the covers. 